Hi guys, so I just want to go through a couple of um, things on Sony Alpha 6000. So, um, thought I'd give you a quick overview of two things, which is basic um, video options and also just photography options. So with video, just remember to switch this top dial to video so you got the MR manual S A P so if you switch that to the video on that and a couple of things to remember on the menu is I'll just switch this on so here you can control your Oh yeah, so, so this is probably the most important I'm just going to go through quickly the most important options on the menu so you got your ISO where you can control that and if you go turn the wheel it'll take your ISO higher so I'll just get this in focus yeah so or you can turn the wheel down which will drop the ISO to 500 400 320 you know all the way to 100 or we'll leave it at auto so um, with videography it might be better it's always better to use manual ISO and if it's a darker situation you just put the ISO up and you can do that on the live view where you can see the actual um, you know it gets lighter as you go up on the ISO so I probably wouldn't recommend going all the way to 2000, 3000 or you know um, so just keep to probably 400 to 800 will be safe right, this is the actual um, f-stop so if you want to take your f-stop to 3.5 or higher use this dial if you just want to change the shutter speed you just swing this second dial I'll just take it show here so it change that dial back and forth and you can see here on the left hand side in orange the actual shutter speed changing so um, if you have it mounted on a tripod you can go low but if you're hand holding and showing it's better to have it high on shutter speed and with ISO you can press it that way and increase the ISO a tiny bit more so you get better exposure so those are the two main things you'll be looking at um, changing while you videoing here we are so if you press function it'll bring the smaller menu down the bottom so as you can see in highlighted orange you've got the autofocus exposure compensation ISO metering mode and white balance if you click into the white balance you can it'll give you auto option then daylight shade cloudy indecent warm white and you get all these other you know there's a fair bit of options you can choose from on the white balance at this situation I just tend to leave it auto for demonstration but if you can pick pick the white balance for your scenario it would be better rather than letting the auto pick the white balance most of the time so if you press function again so there's a couple of other things you can go into creative styles you can go so you, you know this you got natural clear deep 
light, portrait, landscape. So there's a lot. So you can go through all that and change them as well, depending on your situation. So I'll just change it back to natural or mine. So here we are, neutral. Sorry, not natural, neutral. Okay, so that's that. And with the um, photo, so that's that for the video side. So with the photo taking, um, it's better to, oh, here we are, switch this style to the green photo and it'll give you intelligent auto going onto a scene and shoots photo so that's pretty much auto and if you change it to that superior auto the device beautifully shoots automatically while reducing blurring and noise so I tend to go with this bit more using a bit more control you know if you're very comfortable with photo taking then go with complete manual and I tend to use that a lot as well um, so if you do use that so you can again change your shutter speed through this dial here so you can quickly change your shutter speed here and your ISO sorry your F F stop through here and then also ISO through here so you know this live viewfinder is pretty much shows you how it is used live so you know it's quite easy to set the settings um, I'll post some images taken with this camera so have a look at them which is um, I found the camera is very useful when it comes to photo taking it's very accurate and the colors are natural and I've got the kit lens on here which is 3.5 to 5.6 uh, 16 to 50 then I'll just run past the other lens which is also I've got as the telephoto lens which is 55 to 210 that's f um, 4.5 to 6.3 so I'll post some video and video image and images of this using this lens this is a really nice lens um, it takes up very clean images telephone images so yeah definitely you would want that variation if you don't want to spend the big bucks um, they both came as as a package all right so that's it